and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Kinlami. I hope you are enjoying the month of March. Now let's see some creativity and enjoy the calm it brings on this episode of Art House. <music> It's our first in recent times from Yenugua, the Bayelsa State capital, as we enjoy the latest body of works created by a renowned professor. Then we return to Lagos to enjoy this solo exhibition. But before then, let's listen to the veteran artists we have lined up on our Art Quote segment and the program will continue in a moment. Do stay with us. The information age is too busy to observe little things in nature. The artist has a duty to draw attention to these details of nature. For very often, the answers we seek are in the details provided by nature. Words of wisdom there from a veteran creative who certainly knows his onions. And now to our first feature. Introspection is a solo exhibition at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Lagos. <laughs> This traveling exhibition of visual illustrations, Muiwa Akimulere Sakizim has finally come to the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Lagos with a tale of a bard in a show titled Introspection, which expresses the artist's thought process. To introspect is to think deep, deeply, to reflect. And um, the idea is um, it's about um, illustrating my thought process um, over a period of time. I have uh, created different body of work for many years that I've been practicing. And I was thinking that um, I would like to have a show where all these uh, body, different body of works that depicts the movement of how my, um, my career has evolved over the years, I could pull them together in a, in a show. Uh, so that it, it could not just be for the show alone, but as a sort of documentation of what I've done um, in the in uh, period of my career. I met him about 11 years ago at a solo exhibition of his and I was immediately captivated by his person and um, his work, his style of work. And yeah, we've, over the years, we've had, had different projects and then this is, well, this is the ongoing one. And um, it's an interesting one because, well, like it, well, we call it introspection. And the idea is this, you know, for, um, I believe for, for you to get the depth of any um, any work for as an individual, you need to reflect. So this is um, this is an artist at the like a midpoint of his career. So he's looking back, looking in, and looking forward to see what is going to happen next, where we're coming, where he's coming from, where he is, and where he's going to. That's what introspection is all about. In this documentation, the stories which are told through an array of exciting paintings explore different issues in the society from the political, social, economical, emotional and other aspects of human existence, especially within the Nigerian space, by being sarcastic. The fact that um, I deploy sarcasm 
uh, to talk about um, issues uh, bordering on politics and social issues. Yes. Well, my work borders on satire. It borders on it borders on caricature. It borders on being able to make light of very serious issues like politics, like social issues. So I w want to believe that when people come they will be able to l l see these works and laugh at things that are very critical and serious, you know. Sometimes you don't have to be serious about everything. We should be able to laugh about issues that are bordering, that are very serious. is an artist who is very sarcastic. He looks at the situation of the country, I mean politically and socially, and he talks about them in a satiric way, even though they are funny, but they are, um, they are visuals that make you think, that makes you look at what's happening and what you think you can do. Why are these things happening? So in a way, when you look at his works, you tend to start questioning yourself for what is happening around you. So that's why you may want to engage his works. His works are interesting. For one, um, they make light of serious um, issues and saying that, okay, so we have, for instance, look at politics, the things going on around in Nigeria right now. There are things that would um, make you cringe. But sometimes he has, he has a way of making it, um, making it, um, making light of it, not, you're not trivializing it, but having humor, adding humor to it. And then also his works address real issues serious issues. You understand what I'm trying to say? They address serious issues, but then just um, make light of it. The graduate of Obafemi Awolowo University, Ilefe Oshun State, tells us about his growth as an artist, which has been formed over time and influenced his unique technique to capture tales of the stormy waters of life, emerging victorious, or at least not giving up by adding a tang of humor to the situation. I studied art in Ife, and um, first of all, the foundation of my of my practice is from Ife, is from unnoising. Okay, so, but as I continued to evolve, I began to look at myself and how I could project my art. And I thought of um, my secondary school days. I schooled um, in a board, I, I went to a boarding school. And in, back in those days, we were making a lot of comic books. We were making a lot of, uh, drawing a lot of caricatures and I decided to take elements from that and then el elements from my period of stay in Oshobo. I stayed for a, a period of time um, in Oshobo and you know I fell in love with soap stone uh, carvings of Oshobo so I incorporate all of this into what I'm, uh, what I'm currently doing. him in person, you can see that it's very funny and that comes up in his works. So when he was in, in school, they, he used to draw comic characters to, to mock their teachers. So when he got into the art world, he had to look back and pick uh, an element from those illustrations, then he 
coupled it with a stay in Oshobo where he saw lots of um, soapstone sculptures. So he picked those elements and his comical illustrations in school. He married them together to create his style that he is presently doing. So when you look at his works, you have a feel of, you have the sculptural feel around his paintings. Then you also see the comical feel that if you look at the figures, you see that the eyeballs of all the figures are not looking straight. They are looking at the side as if they are suspicious. So that's his funny side coming into play. So it's a very interesting artist. The topics displayed by Muiwa Akimolire in this solo show are issues that people will be able to relate to and hopefully affect their peace of mind positively. Our wordsmith is by Wellington Fernandez titled, I'm a Poet. I was asked who I am, a poet, an artist or a dreamer. What's behind my poetry? Reality of a love or fantasy delusions? Who knows? I am the mystery who broke the silence of your eternal secrets. Maybe I'm a clown in the theater of life who learned to smile to disguise the sadness of my wounded soul. Sincerely, I don't know who I am. I only know that I was born to write love. This love that hid my silence mixed my tears with the waves of the sea. Who knows, one day, poetry inspires me and I come back again to my painting's paint. This solo exhibition called Amazing Nigeria is the climax of renowned photographer Kelechi Amadiobi's one-year tour across the country and about 30 pictures reveal the wonders he captured during that expedition. Well, Amazing Nigeria is um, it's a journey around the entire country. Um, first from Western Nigeria, then um, to East, South-South, then to the North. Uh, in search of beautiful landscapes and beautiful vistas. Uh, the idea is to reveal to Nigerians the inner beauty of this country through photography. From breathtaking landscapes which Mother Nature has endowed to the nation which are tucked away in different communities show that every inch of the country is uniquely blessed. But the first thing Nigerians, uh, I'm trying to say with this, is that whatever you, you want to see, you will find. If you want to see beauty, you will find. If you want to see death, you will find. But I believe that there's a lot of positives for us as Nigerians. And this exhibition is a call to show evidence of that beauty. And that once we can appreciate it, then we'll try to preserve it. Then we'll try to exploit it for our own good. The audience enjoy many images of the lush greens intertwined in the Rocky Mountains to the waterfalls and other green stone and marvel at the color and appeal. This is Kelechi bringing different parts of Nigeria together in a small space. You know, um, because of this art, Kelechi is going to put images in um, in Ninja, in different parts of Nigeria, really. And then bringing all of those pictures, you know, here gives us an experience of different places of, of Nigeria. That's all. For this photographer, there is no end to the beauty within, and these pictures are just a drop in the ocean compared to the treasures the nation has in store. We're taking a break now. When Art House returns, we move to Bielsa State to enjoy an exhibition and your works of art. So do stay with us for the details. These are the works we sent in this week.
Let's begin with this one by Innocent Chikeze. It's done with acrylic on canvas. It's titled When the Sun Goes Home. Then the hustle too is also an acrylic on canvas work done by Ekundayo Art. Another acrylic on canvas work is titled Seascape by Moses. Then Self Love, Town Girl, is a mixed media on canvas piece done by Femi Akanu. Then Chris Art has this oil on black velvet work titled Focus. I love parrots, that's according to Daniel. It's done with gouache paint on paper. Then Adibayo Bankole has Dear Pharaoh, an acrylic on canvas work. Then because I have a brother, I will always have a friend. Nice, that's how Taiwo Odejimi puts it. With this one, done with mixed media on canvas and titled Soul Brothers. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. Really appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. The works of art you're about to see were done by a professor in Yenogwa, the Bielsa State Capital. Professor Sylvester Ibigbaha, a professor of graphic design and communication who heads the Department of Fine and Applied Arts at the Niger Delta University in Yenagua, Bayelsa State, presents his latest collection in this solo exhibition, which began with an inaugural lecture before the guests were ushered to the back of the hall where the images have been set up on easels. The title of my exhibition is Across Cultural Divide. Nigeria is an heterogeneous society. As a whole, it is made up of different languages, cultures, environment. This affects the way we live our activities. So for a people to be developed in a sustainable way, it has to be keyed to their sociocultural environment, their knowledge, attitude, and practices. The design professional with a doctorate in philosophy in industrial design from Amadou Bello University in Zaria, Kaduna State, is proficient in graphic book and comic illustrations but for this show he decided to also reveal other skills one of them oil paintings i like that the last one there which he um, the artist professor ebigba called um, a binamadi away 
Uh, that is very inf informative and very instructive, especially um, with regards to what is happening in Nigeria today. The herdsmen stroke farmers crisis. So if the herdsman is an Ebinama DOA, it means that he won't be carrying the AK-47. He'll rather be uh, more friendly with his staff for um, the instrument that we know headsmen to be carrying, not the AK-47. He has presented some of the beautiful artworks. Uh, what really struck me here yeah, is this ancient buildings. This particular one tells us that if we are not importing technology from outside, we will be able to develop ourselves. And this a building is constructed using local equipment, um, the mound, the touches, and all that locally. And the people are very comfortable. He tells us about what inspired this solo show and the 17 images which are being displayed today, either done during the 2020 pandemic or 2022 as to strike. The inspiration behind this work are many. We have a nation that is highly blessed with different people having different cultures, so rich. And this diversified behavior is enough to produce varied tangible and intangible material culture. So when we harness these differences from the north, the south, the east, and the west, the result, the effect is a salutary one. For this lecturer, whom loads of students look up to, the secret to success is never giving up on your dreams till they become a reality. And the quest for knowledge has to continue. This is what we want in the university system. If you are teaching and you are in a practical area, you should be able to demonstrate the knowledge in the visual arts so that people will know what you are doing. This is by excellent. Right now, if you go now to any of the rural areas, in the morning you see women going out to farm, some other people are going to fish and so forth. Brings you to bear that we have our own occupation in the riverine area. That gives me a sense of belonging. A Cross-Cultural Divide is the title of this exhibition, which shows Nigeria's hybrid nature. And for this artist, understanding a society's culture, knowledge, preferences and practice makes development interventions more sustainable. Yes, it's been quite a while we had something from the South-South, especially from Bielsa State. So you can imagine my excitement when that exhibition came along. I'm looking forward to seeing more from that side of the divide. And talking about more, let's see what we have lined up for you on the next episode of Art House. On the next edition of Art House. Road Less Traveled, an exhibition at Omenka Gallery, Lagos. Then we move to Kaduna State to enjoy an art and cultural fiesta. I encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels.
We're everywhere. That's the program today. We are looking forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms where the conversation continues. As always, I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.